Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I am going big or go home. I am doing a 16 inch round wooden medallion. However, it's going to have two base colors. It's going to be gold and it's going to be yellow. And I already flooded my, I always say, I want to say canvas, but it's my wood medallion with my colors. And I am doing a drizzle on here and then I'm doing a bloom. So my drizzle colors are Sky Blue by Amsterdam, Persimmon and Lovestruck Pigment by Color Art Primary Elements, Sunburst with Gold Sparkle Primary Element, Gold, Gold, Primary Element, uh, Royal Orchid Primary Element, and this is Metallic Gold by Rustoleum. My blooms, it's gonna be pretty bright, so you might wanna wear your sunglasses. Jasmine. Orange, Red, and Pearl Papaya by Arteza. This is Carmen, and that's a new one for me by Primary Element. Sunburst, Mystic Blue, and Vavoom Red, and those are all Color Art Primary Element pigments. You can see how I do my mixture in uh, video number 248 for my bloom. And that's what I'm doing today after I put my colors on drizzle with my drizzle. Well, video 248 is a recipe video and it's the same recipe she uses for her drizzle paints and pigments as her blooms. So actually it's the same recipe for whether you're doing a bloom or a drizzle. In this case, she's doing both a bloom and a drizzle. However, I'm not wrecking it and I'm not swiping it. I am only doing my drizzle, and then I'm going to spin my bloom. And hopefully we get out to the edges, which we should. Well, um, I think you need a big bloom once you get to that stage, okay? We're gonna need a big bloom. Okay. So, like I said, go big or go home. <laughs> well, a 16 inch round is a pretty good size, and the larger you go with a bloom, the uh, it seems like the harder it is to get a real nice, consistent, beautiful bloom. But Well, to get a really pretty composition of your bloom and not lose a lot of your um, cells. cells. So yeah. it's, it's going to be interesting because I've never done a bloom this big. So this is my first and you get to see it being my first. I'm just popping these bubbles as I go because I don't want them in there. And you can pop them with anything. You can pop them with oh, a toothpick or a skewer like I have. Um, anything. Sometimes you can just even blow them with your mouth and they'll pop. And they just come up because they're just being naughty. <laughs> they need a spanking. Yeah, you don't want to leave those on there, that's for sure. No, because otherwise if you do, you're just going to get like an air bubble and you don't want an air bubble. So I just try to um, poke them as I go. That color was Sunburst with Gold Sparkle. This is Royal Orchid. Like I said, this is going to be either very pretty or I don't know what it's going to be. Well, you, hey, you have to have confidence. I got my fingers crossed. All I do is I just, you know, have my abracadabra. Mm -hmm. And um, my yeah. abracadabra magic usually works. The, the, the colors are nice and vibrant. and That's what we want. Beautiful. We want vibrancy this time. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Element Pigments and also Arteza Paints and KS Resin. We have okay. some links in our description box that can get you some nice discounts on any of their products, so take advantage of that. Okay, now we're doing our bloom. Okay, your, your drizzle is done. Okay, boy, that was fast. I think you have to go bigger. Go bigger, go home, Phil. Well, That's the old saying. And you're not really quite in the center, but that's okay. I can tip it. 
Actually, I should just use well, I, spoons. I, I still don't think you're big enough. But, okay. I'm going to use a spoon for these because it's too hard. Actually, you know what? I think I can just pour it. Well, yeah, that's true. But I, I think you have to be definitely a larger bloom to get anywhere near the edges with the, the colors. That's just me, you know. <laughs> you know what my advice is worth? Two cents. <laughs> yeah, plus you get change back. I do? Yes. Well, how much do I get back on two cents? Two cents? <laughs> oh. This is going to be something. I think I think that uh, that's a good size start to the bloom. Yeah. For that size. See, it's it's project. easier if I tip. I think. Well, I might not mm. want to tip yeah. now. No. You're fine. This is going to be bright. I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, people, people might be wondering what in the world kind of colors is she putting together. Well, I, I have to take the blame because I told her I wanted something bright and kind of out there in the color scheme. And, so and it she's, is. She's obliging me with that, with these colors. So. so just remember, people, this is not my choice. That is true. It's all Phil's doing <laughs> hopefully he likes pink well I like bright colors so well this is gonna be bright colors now what color is that that's a this is the Carmen oh, the it's Carmen. a brand new one okay. for me I actually just got that not too long ago this is sunburst I use this a lot yes you do that's a nice bright color that's what you want it's what you're gonna get Phil I'm so used to pulling my hair back with these blooms, I don't even have to because I'm going to use my good old little blow dryer. But I'm going to have to pop these bubbles first. Boy, that pink is really spreading out already, isn't it? Jeez, it's making, Phil. It's making its getaway. Yeah. Say, I'm getting out of here. It's getting out of here all right. Okay. We have our bloom done. Let's get it back in the center. Is it in the center? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think so. It's I just close gotta, enough. I you just can... got to pop some bubbles along the way. Okay, everybody, I know, I know you're holding your breath thinking, oh, what is Kathy doing now? Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. <clears throat> if it doesn't turn out, it's only paint, people. That is true. That okay, is true. now for my Abracadabra Black Cell Activator. Now... I know you put the black cell activator pretty much in the middle, but why don't you spread it over like the other colors you put down? Because I be think you're going to get too black. Oh, okay. All right. That's, that's a reasonable explanation to me. Well, even if it isn't, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm being so fresh today. What do you mean today? I'm just a little oh, freshy. Yes, you are. You need to stay. okay, it. too. Freshy, freshy. Okay, hopefully this doesn't fly off after when I go to spin it. Gotta get my little abracadabra dryer. And away we go.
Is there a way to get more of the dark oh. middle spread out? There seems to be a lot of paint there. It's going to spread out when we spin it, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. You're going to spin it, so... You know, the center doesn't spread as much as the edges. That's why I we, really like that in there, though. I, Ooh, I, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Oh, I think this is going to be really, really pretty. You have to tip it a little my way, or? Yeah, I'm going to tip it a little your way. Very slowly. that middle. No, that's true. Okay. Hopefully this does not fly off. <laughs> I think I'm going to put one more piece of tape because of lifting it. That doesn't matter if it sits, it's just going to bring up more cells. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to be bright, it's going to be pretty, I think. That's what I was hoping for. So, so Kathy's adding another piece of the frog tape under there just to make sure that the medallion doesn't <laughs> fly off when she's spinning it. Oh my fly gosh. across the room. It'll fly on you. Probably. I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. Oh. oh, that was not good, Phil. Okay, I got to get my other pair of gloves and we're going to spin it. Okay. Abracadabra, you better be bright because this is the videographer's choice of colors. And he gets pretty, pretty ticked off if it doesn't do what he wants. I never get ticked off. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. I'm easy going, <sighs> even tempered. I'm going to video you when you are on the computer the next time and I'm going to incorporate that into our videos. Oh. So here we go. I said, Phil, you better like pink. That's okay. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, look at this. This is really pretty. Got the purples and the blues and Holy. pinks, the reds. Wow, look at those cells. This is vibrant. Wow. Very nice. This is really vibrant. Very nice. Holy cow, Phil. Good choice. Well, I got the brightness I was looking for. And we got good cell formation there throughout there. Look at all the colors coming through there. We got we got tons of cells. Yes. And the middle section. The middle of is the like grape. Yeah. It's a dark Grapes, grape. And then you've got the blues coming through there. And then you have the tinges of your base coming through. It's pretty. It is really pretty. I like it. Well, I think it's striking and it's uh once you know, this is resined. Yes. This is going to be beautiful. Yes. Gonna show. I don't think I should tip it, do you? I don't think you should because I I don't want to lose those beautiful cells. Look We're not going to lose them. Beautiful cells there coming down towards the middle here. I just wanted to get that more in the middle. The, the cluster there. of the grape cells and blue cells. Oh, it's right in the middle now. That's yes. really pretty. I'm happy with it. Once this is resined, it, it, it'll be beautiful. 
I already know it. Yeah. I can tell. Because the resin will bring out all of these colors even right. more so. Oh, whoa. Okay, everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment to Phil. It was his choice of colors. He was looking for vibrancy. He got what he wanted. Um, I hope everybody likes it. Leave me a comment. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. We are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And please help us get to our goal. And if you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you very much. We love all of you. Please stay healthy, stay safe. And until the next time, you never know what we're going to be doing. So, bye.